hello guys welcome to a new video and in this video I want to configure a standard access list um, to block a counter session and to only allow this computer over here which is the admin computer okay and also if you haven't so um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and I have over 75 videos so far on 16 topics so go ahead and Take a look at my channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Okay, and also if you have a Twitter account, go ahead and follow me at on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips, where I post all my stuff from my website and also all the new videos. All right. So, and also I want to give a shout out to my latest subscriber, which is Zach Armstrong. Also, I want to give a shout out to Faro and Jamar G. Okay. So now let's go ahead and start with this um, video and I have configured everything as you can see and if um, what I want to do first I want to try to ping this IP address to see if we are able to ping this IP address so go ahead and ping 10.1.1.2 and as you can see I'm able to ping right to over here and also from here, I should be able to ping this IP address from here. And as you can see, I'm able to ping it from both computer. And they are both, we should be able to also tell it. So I'll go ahead and tell it to 10.1.1.2. All right. The password is 123456. Enable. One two three four five six. All right, so we are able to turn it via the admin computer, but I'm also able to turn it via the user computer. There it is. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. All right. So I don't want this um, any computer to be able to turn it to this router over here. I only want the admin computer. To be able to tell net to this router because the admin are only or should only be allowed to tell it to this router so what i want to do is create a access list um, so i can block any other computer but this ip address which is the ip address of the admin computer so let's go ahead and do that so let's go ahead to this router config t okay and for here what I want to do, I want to create an access list. Um, actually, we got to call it IP access list. And I want to permit, let's see, oops, it's not IP, it's just access list. From here, we're going to be call it one because it's going to be a standard access list, which is from 1 to 99. So we are going to use a number inside 1 through 99. So we're going to call one and then permit. I want to permit 192.168.1.100. Okay. And the walker match for that is going to be 0, 0, 0. Okay. So now we have to go to line 50Y, um, 0 to 4. And for here, I want to add this access class. And for here, we got to call the accesses that we just created which was this one right here one and I wanted to place it going in so now let's um, try this and let's see if we are able to turn it using the admin computer and we are able to turn it using the admin computer now let's see if we are able to turn it using any other computer like the user with this IP address and here we go we are not able to tell it to this router using the user computer but let's, let's see if we can ping it though and there we go so we are able to ping it and send data to it but we are not able to tell it because we only allow the admin computer to remote in using the tell net and also what you, uh, what you guys can do to make sure that it's working from this computer let's go ahead and configure an IP address 192.168.1.3 192.168 
that one that one which is the default gateway all right so now let's plug that in using a straight through cable fast forward let's see first if we're able to ping 10.1.1.2 okay we're able to ping it now let's go ahead and tone it to it see if we let me tone it 10.1.1.2 and here we go so it is blocking um, any computer that is trying to access this router via telnet but it is letting this um, computer which is the only allowed computer which is the anime computer and the password for all the routers is one two three four five six okay so this does it for this um, this is a short video I just wanted you guys to see how you guys can um, Black telnet from computers and only allow one computer which is which is the admin computer over here okay and also I'm going to leave this um, packet tracer activity on the link below so you guys can download it and practice on what I did and this is all for this video and if you guys haven't followed me go ahead and follow me on Twitter I see any other tips and also you can go to my website at ccdgt.com for more videos like this, for more activities and for quizzes that I have on my um, website. Okay, so this is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.